Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Learn More Maths. Uh, we have completed uh, exercise 7.2 total problems in the previous video. So now we have to learn about these topics uh, to solve problems in exercise 7.3 and exercise 7.4. So see here uh, what are these uh, area of a triangle when he gives vertices of a triangle, collinear points. Uh, so with uh, related to the area of a triangle and area of a triangle Heron's formula so uh, if he gives the length of the sides of a triangle Heron has given a formula to find the area of the triangle so slope of a line joining two points so now we have to learn about these four topics and the formulas uh, of those four topics to solve the problems in exercise 7.3 and exercise 7.4 now we have to learn one by one so first we have to learn about area of a triangle when the vertices of a triangle are given so see here so now we have to learn about area of a triangle so we know area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height this is the general formula if we know the length of base and height so if he gives the uh, vertices of a triangle how can we find the area of the triangle now we are going to learn uh, see here let a b c are the three vertices the coordinates of a are x1 comma y1 and the coordinates of b are x2 comma y2 and the coordinates of c are x3 comma y3 so using the coordinates of the vertices now we have to find the area of the triangle so how can we find a C here area of triangle ABC with its vertices a x1 comma y1 b x2 comma y2 and c x3 comma y3 is a delta equal to half into modulus of so since area is always positive area is a numerical value it must be positive always hence we have to take this symbol modulus even if we get negative value in the modulus we can write positive so then so we have to use the symbol for modulus symbol here delta equal to half into modulus of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 square units so this is the formula we use to find the area of a triangle when he gives the vertices of a triangle so here to remember the formula just i have written a circular so here y1 y2 y3 it is x1 x2 x3 so how can we remember see here so first to x1 into what is the formula x1 into y2 minus y3 so first you have to write y1 y2 y3 so then here x1 x2 and here x3 so we have to remember the formula half into modulus of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 so like this we can remember if you remember this circle you can very easily remember the formula so this is the area of a triangle formula so now next we have to learn about a collinearity concept already we have learned collinearity concept so what it is see here so now we have to learn about the concept of collinearity or collinear points already you have familiar with collinear points the points which lie on the same line are called collinear points so let's see here uh, the points a b and c are lie on the same line hence a b c are called collinear points here so the points which lie on the same line are called collinear points it is not possible to form a triangle with collinear points so if they are collinear it is not possible to form a triangle hence uh, the area of the triangle is zero if the points are collinear so just uh, if the area of the triangle formed by the given points is equal to zero then we can decide the given three points are collinear points 
so this is about collinear points so next we have to learn about area of the triangle heron's formula <coughs> So now we have to learn about area of a triangle Heron's formula. So see here what it is. Heron, an ancient Greek mathematician, derived a formula for a triangle whose lengths of sides A, B and C are known. So if he gives lengths of the sides of a triangle, then Heron has given a formula to find area of the triangle. So it is a is equal to square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c where s equal to a plus b plus c by 2. So here a, b, c are the lengths of the three sides of triangle a, b, c. Then its area a is equal to square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c where s equal to a plus b plus c by 2. So this is the formula given by Heron to find the area of the triangle when we know the lengths of the three sides of a triangle. So this is a Heron's formula area of the triangle. So next we have to learn about a slope of a line joining two points. So slope of a line joining two points A x1 comma y1 and B x2 comma y2 is m equal to tan theta which is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. See here what it is. So here it is x axis and it is y axis. This is the line. The two points on the line are A x1 comma y1 and B x2 comma y2 the line making angle theta with x axis so here we know tan theta is equal to if it is theta so i have drawn a parallel line to the x axis so if it is theta it is also theta since these two are the corresponding angles so here this length becomes y2 minus y1 and this length becomes x2 minus x1 so slope of the t slope of the line this line uh, is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 it is nothing but if it is theta tan theta equal to opposite side to angle theta by adjacent side to angle theta so see here since tan theta equal to opposite side to angle theta by adjacent side to angle theta so here opposite side to angle theta is y2 minus y1 by adjacent side to angle theta is x2 minus x1. Hence we use this formula. If we know the angle directly we can find a, a slope of the line m is equal to tan theta only. So if we know only two points on the line we use this formula m equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So very very important formula. So definitely you can get a, a one mark problem or at least objective type. So this is about the slope of a line joining two points. So that's all today's class. And next two, we have to solve problems in exercise 7.3 that is area of the triangle. So that's all today's class. Thanks for watching.